on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. What are you doing here, Kotsky? I, uh... <sighs> Does your mother know you're here? Yes? Really, so if I call her right now, she'll say, yeah, he's here. Yeah. <sighs> he's a good picking up a phone. Just like, this is your last chance to tell me the truth. Okay, okay, she doesn't know I'm here. That's what I thought. <clears throat> so, what are you doing here? I, I need to, I want to train with you. What? Yeah, please? <clears throat> Why? Well, uh... I want to be a great hero. Yeah, you got a strong quirk, Kasky. Explosions, right? So why does it matter that, uh, you know, you train with me? Because you're better. Hmm? Well, you... <sighs> you see, I... I admire... All might. Of course, a lot of kids do. But I'm nowhere near as strong as him. But you still have a strong quirk. Explosions is very useful. I know. But I want to incorporate more style into my ways of fighting. Oh. So. You want to learn how to fight better. Yeah, I, I tried the All Might way in which it's... It's not bad, it's just not me. Well, not everyone's fighting styles for someone else. You have to think of your own unique way of fighting that only you can truly use. Like when you're explosions, you can propel yourself or blow someone back, as well as giving yourself enough wiggle room to start another attack. And when it comes to your sweating, hmm, that may prove more difficult to control. What? Wait, what? Well, you sweat nitroglycerin. One out and... Ah! Gauntlets. What about them? You can make gauntlets to store your sweat and make them look somewhat like a grenade. A little bit on the nose, but it would work. That way, as well as having a type of device where if you release it into a huge explosion that you couldn't normally make. Uh. Huh. Why did I think of that? Also, you would need something to help you sweat. Hmm. Perhaps you would put something in your hero costume that generates heat. Not so much that it will burn you, but enough so it opens up your pores, make you, makes you sweat more. That way, even in cold conditions, you'll be able to fight. Because <laughs> that really is one of your weaknesses. As well as people who actually control fire. Huh. Thank you, Yusuke. Yes. Hmm. 
Kai. Are you here for some training too? What's Inko gonna say? Uh, Mom isn't at, in the best spirits. What are you talking about, boy? <sighs> well, you would know if you paid more attention to her. Hey, she's not my problem. Well, I'm going to tell you what's wrong or not. It's Dad. Hmm? What about him? He... Turns out he was... Um, how shy he was cheating on your mother. Yes! <sighs> of course. That would piss off anyone. No, she's not really... It's not really the fact that she's pissed. But she is pissed, yeah. Yes! She's more along the lines of depressed. She could use someone... She trusts. Why not, Mitsuki? Well, my mom is more or less busy after, you know, <sighs> Masaru. Uh, I blame myself for not being there. You couldn't do anything anyway. Oh, no, I could have. Though vigilantism is illegal, that only applies to people who have quirks. If I was... If I had been fast enough, I could have stopped it. You can't keep blaming yourself. She doesn't. It doesn't matter who's the fault. Whether it be me, the villain, Either way, I carry that guilt for not being there on time. <laughs> it doesn't help out that all oh my guy still believes he can save everyone. At least here. So can you at least help? Our mothers? Uh, what do you expect me to be able to do, kid? I don't know. Comfort them. Take them out somewhere. You want me to take your mothers out on the same time? Yes. They need to get their minds off of it. Neither of them can really focus on work after those circumstances, at least not as much as they used to. I... Um, I'm not sure about that. You live here alone. Uh, wait, that's my choice. Yes, it is a sad one. <laughs> Listen, boys, just because you see me as a good guy does not mean I won't break you. Can you? Really? My explosions may stay with Izuku's, you know, martial arts. You still won't call me Uncle Izuku. I'd rather call you Dad. <laughs> Isn't what about you, Kai? Uh, my telekinesis isn't that good. <laughs> Oh, well. 
Let's let's have some fun then. As Koski and Kai they return home with bruises and cuts. And Izuku, he's pretty much like they started it. Him getting punched in the face by Miski and Inko for him coming up with such a lame excuse. Him being the adult of the three of them. Hey, how about this? You take our mothers out for dinner or something to make up for hurting us so bad. What? Ego and Miski just overcome with emotions right now. I, like, I think that's a good idea. He's paying for everything. <laughs> Wait! I Don't I get saying this? No. Them just grabbing him by each arm and walking off. Bago and Kai realize like, yeah! <sighs> <sighs> Hopefully this turns out all right. Then who knows? We'll be brothers. Wait, but what if he only? What if he only gets to choose one? <laughs> you know what that means, as they say in unison, that I get an awesome dad. Excuse me. As they just look at each other, I was like, "Are you?" No, 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 no. You really think he's going to choose your mom over mine? Of course he is. My mom is awesome. Then going back and forth until it results in a fight. Them getting even more injured from each other's attacks. Kai more than Katsuki, though. You know this was a setup, don't you? What? Your son, your sons set us up. No, no, no. My brat's too stupid. My Kai would never do something like that. Oh. <sighs> they do care about you guys an awful lot. And besides, you guys already agreed. Then why'd you bring it up? Just so you... Just to see the reaction on your faces. You're a jerk. I know. But... You are a nice guy. Ugh. Don't say that. It ruins my whole... Badassness. You really believe that? You really think yourself a badass? Yes, I do. All right, Mister Badass. Then you'll pay. You're paying for everything I already was, and more. What? Oh yes, we are not stopping at dinner in a movie like Simpletons. But, but this, this is this is now officially a date and not a casual hangout between friends. But I, there are two of you, so uh, are you? You're serious, aren't you? As a heart attack. Upon them going home. First, he takes Miski home. Then, Inko. Them leaving with each giving Izuku a kiss on the cheek. And just like the cliche, Bakugo is just sitting out in the darkness next to a lamp. And so is Kai. Just asking, where have you been? We roam. We, we we don't. We don't have to answer to you. So how was it? Well, we don't appreciate you setting us up. Uh, <clears throat> well, I. <clears throat> well, you um. 
We're sorry. Oh no, don't be. It was great. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? If anything, thank you. You boys are all right. But next time you set us up, prepare for the consequences. Huh? Oh yes, you are going to be punished next time. Because we would rather have it be our idea than something orchestrated by children. Yes. But I... I... No buts. Hmm. Besides, the odds of him choosing more than one woman is unlikely. That's not the way he, Izuku is. Though he might like both of us. If he chooses one or the other, we'll, we'll be fine with it. Uh, huh. So you're giving up? Oh, I didn't say that. What? <laughs> oh no, just, just because I'm okay with whoever you choose doesn't mean I'm going to give up on him. Uh, but, Mom! Guy. If anything, I can at least say that he wouldn't cheat just like. <sighs> that son of a bitch. Seriously. I thought that he just disappeared like that. Wait. What, why are you looking like that? Nothing. What do you know? Mm. Okay. Here's a little... A little something. You told Izuku. Yeah. So that's why he was paying so much attention to me. Uh huh. That's why he seemed very upset, and when I even tried to uh, remind, be reminded of, yeah. So he, he tried to do some of my favorite things. Uh huh. Do you realize what you've done? What? It <clears throat> it's one thing for him to do some vigilante work. I mean, heck, it's he doesn't have a quirk, so it's technically not deemed illegal. But he will start a fight. Well. Allegedly start a fight Just so the person will hit first and he could declare it self-defense Do you know what's gonna happen when he finds your father? Um, justice? You idiot You go pimp slapping guy <laughs> Okay, I gotta find it before he does it. something stupid. But why? Isn't it a good thing? I don't want anything to do with Hazashi. And if Izuku goes after him, Hazashi's gonna think, I put him up to it. Upon her realizing that... Huh. Then again... Nope, 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 nope. As soon as she goes to see Izuku... He's gone. With, there's a note. So, I've gone traveling for business. I'll be back at a later date. Do not worry about me. Do not call or text me until I get back. Inko realizing that it is too late to stop him. Two weeks go by, and uh, Izuku he feels all too refreshed. It's like, 
What'd you do? Huh?